the longest running quiz show in the area. Categories. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your Categories host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we have two schools from our neighboring district, Blue Valley School District. And first we have the Blue Valley North Mustangs versus the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies. And let's meet our competitors. First from North, Luigi. I'm Luigi. I'm Ashwin. I'm Will. I'm Anish. I'm Charlie. And from the Huskies, Bomzy. Hey, I'm Bomzy. I'm a sophomore. Sorry, I'm a senior. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael, I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Jack, and I'm a junior as well. Hi, I'm Ray, and I'm a freshman. Hi, I'm Ray, I'm, <laughs> I'm Jesse, and I'm a sophomore. All right, fantastic. In the first round here in categories, we will take turns answering questions. If a team does miss their on their response, the other team will have a chance to steal. We did flip a coin before we started taping, and it was won by Blue Valley Northwest. So Huskies, here is the first category. It is current events. After several years of improving ties, relations between China and Taiwan threatened to deteriorate over a move by, this island, by the island nation. Causing a potential rift was an invitation to which Nobel Prize winner? Peace Prize winner. Bomzi? Barack Obama. Incorrect. Mustang's chance to steal on this current events question. After several years of improving ties, relations between China and Taiwan threatened to deteriorate over this move or over a move by the island nation. Causing a potential rift was an invitation to which Nobel Peace Prize winner? <coughs> Luigi? Is it the Dalai Lama? It is the Dalai Lama, that is correct. Mustangs, you do get the next category, which is geology. In 1980, a precedent setting decision by the Interior Department barred what kind of mining within the scenic view of Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah? Anish? Strip mining. Strip mining is correct. Huskies, literature is the next category. It's a matching question. Match the following books with their authors. Here's the three books. The Age of Anxiety, The Age of Reason, and The Age of Innocence. The authors are W.H. Auden, Edith Wharton, and Thomas Paine. Match the author, author with the book. Mustangs, chance to steal this literature question. Match the following books with their authors. The Age of Anxiety, The Age of Reason, and The Age of Innocence. The authors are W.H. Auden, Edith Wharton, and Thomas Paine. Auden wrote The Age of Anxiety, Wharton was The Age of Innocence, and Paine was The Age of Reason. Mustangs, you do get the next category, which is nature. This northern species of this bird is about 10 inches long with feathers of gray, black, and white and has a strong, slightly hooked beak. It has a habit of thrusting grasshoppers, mice, and smaller birds onto thorns and twigs, which then tears to pieces and eats. Name this bird, which is also called the butcher bird. <coughs> Luigi? Is it the bald eagle? It is not the bald eagle. Huskies, chance to steal this nature question. The northern species of this bird is about 10 inches long with feathers of gray, black, and white and has a strong, slightly hooked beak and has a habit of thrusting grasshoppers, mice, and smaller birds onto thorns and twigs, which it then tears to pieces and eats. Name this bird, also called the butcher bird. <coughs> Michael. The osprey. It is not an osprey, it is a shrike, a shrike. Huskies, you have the next question, which is military history. The modern draft system went into effect when Secretary of War Henry Louis Stimson blindfolded picked the number of the first group of civilians to be drafted. The draft number was 158, but do you know when this, what year this happened? <coughs> Mustangs, chance to steal this military history category. The modern draft system went into effect when Secretary of War Henry Louis Stimson blindfolded picked a number of, of the first group of civilians to be drafted. The draft number was 158, but do you know what year this happened? Ashwin? 1943. 
It is 1940, 1940. Current events, however, Mustangs is the next category. Seeking to expand bilateral negotiations, the government of North Korea invited which country's nuclear envoy for talks over the North Korean nuclear program? Oh, Will, I, and I know the buzzer didn't go, but I believe you uh, answered. Iran. Iran is incorrect. Huskies, chance to steal this current events question. Seeking to expand bilateral negotiations, the government of North Korea invited which country's nuclear envoy for talks over the North Korean nuclear program? The United States. Jack, it is the United States. That is correct. Geography is the next category for you, Huskies. The well-known spas of which the Black Forest town... Give me the name of the well of the... Let me start over. The well-known spas of which the Black Forest town date back to the Roman times. Name this town. And obviously, time on that. Mustangs, chance to steal this geography question. The well-known spas of which Black Forest town date back to Roman times? Will? Bath. That is incorrect. It's Baden Baden is the name of the city. Mustangs, science is the next category. Would impairment of the auditory nerves affect, you have a choice here, would it, the impairment of auditory nerves affect facial muscles, muscles controlling lens shape, muscles controlling pupils, or the sense of balance? Charlie. Uh, the sense of balance. Sense of balance is correct. Northwest, you have a math question here for the next category. All told, there are seven symbols for Roman numerals. Can you list them? <coughs> Mustangs, chance to steal this math category. All told, there are seven symbols for Roman numerals. Can you list them? <coughs> Luigi? M, C, L, V, I, X, and D. And D is correct. That's, that is seven of them. Nice job. <laughs> Language is the next category for you, Mustangs. What worm, what worm, what word rhymes with satellite and means a novice or a beginner? Charlie? Neophyte. Neophyte is exactly what we're looking for. Northwest, the next category you have is etiquette. According to Miss Manners, in order to do what, you should ar arrange the lady on a sofa, kneel in front of her, and then pull out, your, uh, pull out of your pocket a small velvet box. Jesse. A marriage proposal. A marriage proposal is exactly what we're looking for. Blue Valley North, famous quotations is your category. Here's the quote. It is better to know a little about everything than a great deal about only one thing. What famous French mathematician, physicist, and philosopher made this observation? Ashman. Descartes. That is incorrect. Huskies, chance to steal this famous quotations category. It is better to know a little about everything than a great deal about only one thing. What famous French mathematician, physicist, and philosopher made this observation? Michael. Pascal. Pascal is correct. Huskies, you do get the next category, dictionary terms. Alcohol alcoholism is one of the major problems confronting American teenagers today. One of the withdrawal symptoms when heavy alcohol consumption is suddenly stopped is called DTs. What do the initials stand for? Detox. Detox. That is incorrect. Mustangs, chance to steal this dictionary terms category. Alcoholism is one of the major problems confronting American teenagers today. One of the withdrawal symptoms when heavy alcohol consumption is suddenly stopped is called DTs. What do the initials stand for? We're looking for delirium tremens, delirium tremens. Mustangs, you get the next category. It is a language question. Explain the difference between these two Japanese terms, bonsai, B-A-N-Z-A-I, and bonsai, B-O-N-S-A-I. 
Anish? B-A-N-Z-A-I is a term used by the kamikaze pilots, and B-O-N-S-A-I is a type of wood. I cannot accept that, sorry. Huskies, chance to steal this language question. Explain the difference between the Japanese terms bonsai, B-A-N-Z-A-I, and bonsai, B-O-N-S-A-I. Michael? B-A-N-Z-A-I is a war cry used by kamikaze pilots, and B-O-N-S-A-I is a type of tree. We can take that, yeah, because we have to refer to it as being a type of dwarfed tree. That is correct. We will accept that answer. Northwest, chance to, or actually you have the next category, which is science. Name the new isotope, including the element and mass number, that results when uranium-238 undergoes alpha decay. Bonzi? Plutonium-239. That is incorrect. Mustangs, chance to steal this science question. Name the new isotope, including element and mass number, that results when uranium-238 undergoes alpha decay. Luigi? Is it plutonium-234? Incorrect. We're looking for thorium-234. Thorium-234. Mustangs, you get the next category, which is mathematics. How many minutes does it take to fly 300 miles if the plane covers one mile in 10 seconds? Anish? 50 minutes. 50 minutes is exactly right. Northwest, current events is your category. President Obama bought which, brought which recent Thomas Friedman book on a summer vacation to Martha's, Martha's Vineyard? Mustangs, chance to steal this current events question. President Obama brought which recent Thomas Friedman book on his summer vacation to Martha's Vineyard? <coughs> Book's title was Hot, Flat, and Crowded. Hot, Flat, and Crowded. Mustangs, you get the next category. It is a geography category. Italia was the ancient Roman name for Italy. Now match these older Roman names with their respective modern countries, right? And here's the old names. Galia, Iberia, Caledonia, and Hibernia, Hibernia. The new names are France, Ireland, Scotland, and Spain. Match them. Luigi? Hibernia, Scotland. Um, Iberia, Spain. Galia is France, and the other one is Ireland, I think. No, cannot accept that. Sorry. Huskies, chance to steal. Italia was the ancient Roman name for Italy. Now match these older Roman names with the respective countries. The old names are Gallia, Iberia, Caledonia, and Hibernia. The new names are France, Ireland, Scotland, and Spain. Match them. Michael? Gallia, France, Iberia, Spain, Caledonia, Ireland, Hibernia, Scotland. As incorrect. The other, actually, you had them switch. Caledonia was Scotland. Hibernia was Ireland. Sorry. With that buzzer or that siren that does mark the end of our first round, which we have a score Blue Valley North 6, Blue Valley Northwest 4. Before we head into the second round, we do go to members of each team to give us a campus update. And first from Blue Valley North, we have Will. Will, what's happening with the Mustangs? Uh, recently, our girls' tennis team won state behind uh, the Fournier twin sisters and our girls volleyball placed fourth of state and our girls t golf get golf team also on state we have 15 national merit semifinalists and 13 uh, national merit cum laude's and our we just had a renovated school and our little theater is just going to open this Thursday and we had four four perfect ACTs recently well the school. that's pretty awesome you guys are doing it all on all fronts over there then yeah. huh? Except for boys, sports, <laughs> you know. Well, give them the winners to catch up. They'll yeah. be all right. And from the Huskies, Bomsey, what is happening with uh, Northwest? Oh uh, well, first and foremost, our football team is doing really well this year. They're eight and one right now, and we're lo really looking forward to the possibility of a state championship. And also, our theater department is putting on two new plays: their Shadow Box and Girl Crazy. And also, our Deca team is about to 
sponsor very big tournament where a lot of area schools are going to come and compete. Oh, excellent. Yeah, and my, my past experience as a high school teacher, I remember a lot of students participating in the DECA yeah. over at the over Northwest. That's a pretty big, pretty yeah. big deal. Yeah. All right, as we head into the second round, it is the lightning round in which contestants are uh, asked to answer a question that's placed on the floor. Either team may respond. If a team does answer incorrectly, however, the other team will have a chance to steal. Just this reminder to players, please add, wait until you are called on before you answer. Starting the second round, our first category is geology. What deep sea sedimentary rock makes up the peak of Mount Everest? Limestone, limestone. Language is the next category for both teams. What four syllable noun starting with L is defined as a sale of corporate assets upon the termination of business? Anish, I know you're ringing in. Go ahead. Liquidation. Liquidation is correct. World history for both teams. A Norse conqueror fought for about 20 years in France. Finally, in AD 911, the Carolingian, Carolingian excuse me, King Charles the Simple granted him the region of Normandy. What was the ancestor of William the Conqueror? Can you name him? Anish? Is it Eric the Red? It is not Eric the Red. Huskies, you have a chance to steal this world history category. A Norse conqueror fought for about 20 years in France. Finally, in AD 911, the Carolingian king, Charles the Simple, granted him the region of Normandy. He was an ancestor of William the Conqueror. Can you name him? It's Rolo or Rollo, either one is acceptable. Next question for both teams, tools and devices is the category. What device familiar to Magellan has a stock, a shank, arms, and flukes? Jesse. An astrolabe. That is incorrect. Mustangs, you have a chance to steal this tools and devices category. What device familiar to Magellan has a stock, a shank, arms, and flukes? Charlie. A uh, sextant. That is incorrect as well. We're looking for anchor. It's just an anchor. Language is the category for both teams. Ruby red describes a grapefruit. What vegetable does the name iceberg describe? Michael? Lettuce. Lettuce is correct. Climatology for both teams. Mistral, Bora, and Sirocco are the names of special winds in the region of which sea? Ashwin, you got it in before the buzzer. Pacific? It is not the Pacific. Huskies, chance to steal this climatology category. Mistral, Bora, and Sirocco are the names of special winds in the region of which sea? Michael? South China Sea. That is not the South China Sea. It is the Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean. Another geography question for both teams. Here's a list of the three most popular natural attractions in the United States. I want you to tell me in what states they're located. First one is the Grand Canyon. Next one's Yellowstone National Park. And the last one is Niagara Falls. Bombsy. Arizona, Wyoming, and New York. And New York, very good. We also would accept accepted Idaho and Montana for, for Yellowstone, but all you need to do is give one on that. Current events is the category for both teams. A federal, court appeals court, a federal appeals court in California ruled on August 26th that prosecutors improperly seized the drug tests for roughly 100 major league baseball players who tested positive for performance enhancing drugs in 2003. The ruling is a significant victory for which organization which has been fighting in the courts since 2004? Anish? ACLU. That is incorrect. Huskies, chance to steal this current events question. A federal appeals court in California ruled on August 26th that prosecutors improperly seized the drug tests for roughly 100 Major League Baseball players who tested positive for performance enhancing drugs in 2003. The ruling is a significant victory for what organization which has been fighting the courts since, uh, since 2004? Bomsey? 
the MLB Players Association? That is exactly who we're looking for. And with that correct answer, you have tied the score at seven apiece. Next category is the web. And it's an HTML command that formats a web page. The meta type gives the general information about the page. What's the word? Jack? Style sheet. Excuse me? Style sheet. That is not correct. Mustangs, chance to steal this category on the web. It's an HTML command that formats a web page. The meta type gives the general information about the page. What's the word? Anish? Metadata. That is incorrect. We're just looking for tag. Tag. Next category for both teams is movies. Mickey Mouse made history in 1928 when he appeared in what in the first... Will? Steamboat Willie. It is Steamboat Willie. Nice job. Geography for both teams. Mexico's Isthmus of Taiwan Tepec separates two what two major bodies of water? Bomzi. The Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. Cannot accept that, sorry. Geography for you, Mustangs, chance to steal. Mexico's Isthmus of Taiwan Tepec separates what two major bodies of water? Charlie? The Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. It is the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean, yes. English is the next category for both teams. With the restoration, this feminine term became permissible, a permissible job in England in 1660s. Name this feminine term for a permissible job. All right, this was a poorly worded question. I'm sorry. We're looking for actress. Actress. Geography is the next category for both teams. Which modern country contains the heartland and capital of the old Ottoman Empire? I'll tell you what, let's reset and then let's not answer the, ask that question because I saw both teams going for their buzzers on that one. All right, we're we ready to go. We're reset, I believe. All right, space is the next category for both teams. Spacecraft and orbit are commonplace today, but in what year was the first artificial satellite launched into space? Michael? 1957. 1957 is correct. And that brings the score right now to Blue Valley North 9, Blue Valley Northwest 8. Language is the next category for both teams. Seldom in the English language does one word have exactly two opposite meanings. One such, one such verb means, on one hand, to hinder or prevent. On the other hand, it also means to allow, permit, or release. What is this three-letter word? Luigi? Pun. Excuse me? It's a pun. That is not, that is not correct. Huskies, chance to steal this language question. Seldom in the English language does one word have exactly two opposite meanings. One such verb means, on one hand, to hinder or prevent. On the other hand, it also means to allow, permit, or release. What is this three-letter word? <coughs> word we're looking for is let, let, L-E-T. U.S. Presidents is the category for both teams. What was President Wilson's first name? Michael? Woodrow. Excuse me? Woodrow. That is incorrect. Mustangs, chance to steal this uh, U.S. President's category. What was President Wilson's first name? Anish? Woodrow. No, that is also incorrect. It's actually Thomas. Woodrow was his middle name. Trick question on that one. Both teams, art is the category. A sculptor at heart, he painted only under protest. Also a poet, he expressed, Anish? Michelangelo. That is correct. Language, again, for both teams. A scientific definition might read, a system of emotional invested ideas which in disguised form exert a dominating influence upon a personality. What seven letter psychological term fits this definition? Anish? Cannot accept that. Huskies, chance to steal this language category. The scientific definition might read, a system of emotionally invested ideas which in disguised form exert a dominating influence upon the personality. What seven letter psychological term fits this definition? <coughs> I 
We're looking for complex, complex. Agriculture is the next category for both teams. With a pH of 5.0, it is more acidic than acid rain, whose pH balance is 5.6, yet people still drink it in ever-increasing amounts. What is this beverage made? Luigi? Coca-Cola. It is not Coca-Cola. Northwest, chance to steal this agriculture category. With a pH of 5.0, it is more acidic than acid rain, whose pH balance is 5.6, yet people still drink it in ever-increasing amounts. What is this beverage made primarily from seeds of Arabica, Robusta, and Liberian trees? Jack? Green tea. It is not green tea. We're looking for coffee. Coffee. Spelling is the next category for both teams. Representatives of 92 countries, including the U.S., signed a 2003 treaty to require countries to clean up unex... Bonzi? K-Y-O-T-O. That is incorrect. Mustangs, chance to steal this spelling category. Representatives of 92 countries, including the U.S., signed a 2003 treaty to require countries to clean up unexploded ordnance after a war. How do you spell ordnance? Luigi? O-R-D-I-N-A-N-C-E. That is incorrect. Sorry, it's O-R-D-N-A-N-C-E, ordnance. Not Kyoto. <laughs> Both teams, U.S. presidents is the category. Only two presidents have sur ha were survived by their fathers. Warren G. Harding was one. What is the other? Luigi? Is it William Henry Harrison? That is incorrect. Huskies, chance to steal. U.S. presidents is the category. Only two presidents were survived by their fathers. Warren G. Harding was one. Who was the other? Bomsey? Jackson. That is incorrect. It is John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. U.S. government is the next category for both teams. The federal government has a history of legislative involvement in the economic process. One such example was the 1887 Act regulating railroad shipping rates. What was it called? Luigi. Uh, the Interstate Commerce Act. That is correct. And with that correct answer, you have opened up a little bit of a lead, 11 to 8. Science is the next category. It's a multiple choice. Which of the following is the best example of a parabola in the physical world? Is it the surface of, of water in a tilted cylindrical glass, a wire suspended from two points, the path of Halley's Comet, or the reflecting mirror of a telescope? Bomsey. A wire suspended by two points. That is incorrect. Mustangs, we will finish out the question with this science category. Which, is the following, which of the following is the best example of a parabola in a physical world? Is it the surface of water in a tilted cylindrical glass? Is it the wire suspended from two points? The path of Halley's Comet? Or the reflecting mirror of a telescope? Luigi? Uh, the tilted surface of water in a cylindrical glass? That is incorrect. It is actually the reflecting mirror of a telescope. The focus, I believe, of the parabola is the focal point for the telescope. What that sound of that buzzer, that does bring us to the end of our, our game today with a final score of Blue Valley North 11, Blue Valley Northwest 8. Please join us again right here on Categories as we'll bring you fun, fun, I have fun, and excitement right here with high school students throughout the Johnson County area.